And welcome back. It's time for our Sunday sit down. Each week we profile a member of the community, putting on an event oftentimes. And this week we're with Dana Brown. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for being with us. She's with uh, UNSCF and she is the area development coordinator. And you have a really big event. And by really big, I mean the biggest you've ever done. You were just telling me before we came on here. This week, tell us about the, the Mayor's Mask Ball. Yes, so we're having the Hampton Roads Mayor's Mass Ball on March 11th here in Portsmouth, yes. So what, what does that entail? So, well, first of all, I want to know the idea behind it, and then I want to know what's going on there, because I've never been. Yes, so here at UNCF, we provide scholarships to students um, in the area to help them get to and through college. So our event, uh, the UNCF Mayor's Mass Ball, um, is going to raise funds for those students at our 37 member institutions. And so member institutions, what are, the, are they all HBCUs? Yes, they're historically black colleges and universities. So the scholarships are run through, I'm assuming, each of those individual offices and, and the, in the UNC, UNCF allows them to, that, that they pay for it. So when does a student, when is a student able to get involved? Yes, so students are able to get involved um, as long as they're in college or pursuing a college degree or graduate degree. Um, and so to put something into perspective for you, we serve each year over 60,000 students at over 1,100 schools. So they don't have to be college, uh, historically black colleges or universities. We have over 1,100 universities we support um, in our network. Okay, and I'm, I can only tell that you said you said you wanted about 500 people, and you're over 600 now for the ball. Yeah, so we're expecting about 650 people on March 11th for the Mayor's Mass Ball. And what 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 happens at this ball? Just in case they're, they're sold out now, by the way. But if you want to participate next year, because I have a feeling there's going to be a seventh annual. Yeah. What happens at the ball? Yeah, so we have uh, we start our event with the cocktail mass reception, so it's a masquerade ball. We have silent auction, live entertainment. We give away a mask award presentations to outstanding members of the community who support UNCF and other communities in the area. And we call it the mayor's ball, so I'm assuming the seven cities mayors are all invited? Yes, yeah, so each year one city hosts, and this year we have the honor to be in Portsmouth, um, and we'll, the event will be hosted by Mayor Shannon E. Glover. Okay, but will the other will all the other mayors be there? Too? Yes, so we have support from the other seven city mayors as well. Yeah, I've seen I've seen pictures of them all looking very dapper in yeah. the past. I don't know, do they participate in the masquerade? Because I I would like to see a picture of that. They do, they do. So <laughs> we, we have probably about half of our participants actually wear masks, which is great. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now you were just saying um, the, uh, having all the mayors, that's got to be important to bring the community together because we've talked anecdotally a lot on Wavy about regionalism and how seven cities complicate some things. Is, is there a point to this event that says we're all in this together? Yes, so essentially our organization wants to improve access for all, so everyone from uh, the mayors to the sponsors of our event, the individuals who get involved, we definitely have a community um, of equal access and opportunity for our students. So it's all inclusive and we want everybody to help. So if a student hears about this and is watching right now or somebody with a senior, what do they need to know right now about the scholarship money that they could they could get because of this yes so essentially I would want them to know to go to our website uncf.org forward slash scholarships and look at our um, current database of scholarships and also we have a, a generic scholarship application they can uh, complete and they would get access to our database and we have scholarships added um, daily monthly and we have over 400 programs that include scholarships fellowships and internships oh so it's not like a, it's not like a, this is the one deadline you have rolling deadlines you have multiple Yes, we have multiple opportunities throughout the year in different um, regionally, different schools. We give merit-based scholarships, need-based scholarships. So we want everyone to visit us at uncf.org to learn more about what we do. And it's also where you can donate if you feel, if you so choose. I love the rolling deadlines thing because when there weren't, that was my least favorite when I was in <laughs> yes. college. Dana, thank you so much. You can find more information on our website later and of course the website she said. Thank you so much and good luck at the ball. I can't thank wait to see you. the pictures. All right, we'll be right back. No, that's really cool. Yeah.